Every Friday morning here on 12 News, we go in depth with the Target 12 investigators and Steph Machado is here now to talk about her latest reporting on Providence's new license plate cameras. And Steph, you've reported these cameras that take photos of cars are being installed as we speak. That's right, Kate. I'm told the cameras are going up on poles, but have not yet been turned on. These are cameras provided by the company Flock Safety. They take photos of the back of cars. They read the license plate, but also record other data like make, model, and color. And they're aimed at helping police solve crimes by flagging a license plate that police are searching for, perhaps because the car is stolen or the car was used to flee from the scene of a crime. But police can also search the database of photos to find out where a car has been over the past 30 days. And that part of it has the American Civil Liberties Union raising privacy concerns. There's absolutely no question in our mind that uh, this type of system can be easily abused. A police officer that wants to just track a person for totally inappropriate reasons is able to do so by just punching in um, the license plate number, which is one of the reasons we strongly uh, urge that uh, cities and towns need to adopt their own ordinances governing how these cameras are used. And Kate, the ACLU has actually been speaking about this since March, before the city would even confirm that they were looking at getting these cameras. Uh, the city didn't tell the public about this until the end of May, when Mayor Jorge Lorza disclosed the pilot program at an unrelated news conference. So you reported that this new program hasn't gone through the city council, which usually approves new programs and contracts. So why is that? So technically, this contract didn't have to go through that process because it is a free pilot program. The city will try out the cameras for a year at no cost. Contracts only have to go to the council if they are worth more than $5,000. But we're not talking about trying out a few cameras for 30 days here, Kate. We are talking about 25 cameras throughout the city for an entire year. So a number of city councilors have asked that this be put on pause until it can be brought before the council and there can be a clear public vetting process and perhaps an ordinance governing exactly how these cameras should be used so people's privacy is protected. Oh, and as we've reported, these license plate cameras are already in use in other Rhode Island cities such as Cranston. So do we know how that program is going? Cranston police say this program has been a huge success Success. The police chief, Michael Winquist, uh, tells me the license plate readers have helped them catch a murder suspect and solve bank robberies and carjackings since they started using them in August of 2021. The chief also sent me some statistics for the past year that the 29 cameras have been in use. Those stats show there have been 65 arrests in Cranston, including people who had warrants out and 38 stolen cars were recovered. Seven missing people have also been located since August of 2021 in Cranston when they started using these cameras and Providence looked to Cranston's experience as they decided to implement these cameras. Providence Police, uh, I should note, declined to do an on-camera interview with me for my reporting this week about the license plate readers, but they said they are still finalizing the policy and will do a news conference with a formal announcement before the cameras are turned on. All right, well, thanks as always, Steph, for keeping an eye on everything happening in the capital city. And if you want to know how the candidates for Providence mayor feel about these license plate readers, we have that on our website, WPRI.com.